Okay. Welcome team to our team Zoom. Today is April 11th. Um, so we're halfway through the month. Well, almost. Um, we're a day shorter than last month, so we need to kick into gear so everyone can reach the goals. Um, so I first wanted to start off about making sure everyone knew about Judy's contest and Sandy's contest because um, they're both awesome, awesome, great contests. So Judy's, <clears throat> you have to make sure that you are in her group, Heart and Soul 2.0 MDX slash Hempworks. Um, so everyone, <coughs> you should be in there. If not, <coughs> no, you get put in there. So anyone can get into Judy's group, Judy's, Judy's um, contest, 500 bucks. And all you have to do is step out of your comfort zone. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> and um, it's just going to grow you personally and help with your business. So how do you get an entry is to go live. Um, go live about the product, any product, um, and that'll get you an entry. And another way to get an entry is to go live about the business opportunity. Okay, so um, it's not about getting customers. It's not about getting affiliates. Um, you just have to go live, which I know is really hard for, for people. <clears throat> the hardest part about going live is pushing the button that says go live. <laughs> that is the hardest part. Okay, <laughs> as soon as you do that, it's really not that bad. And you just start talking, start chit-chatting. Make notes, you know, so that you don't look like you're a deer in headlights. Um, and if you want to, you know, go live with me, I'll be happy to do it. If it's something that, you know, you're nervous about, I'll do a joint live with you. Um, I don't mind that at all. And that that's, makes it really easy because then you just chit-chat back and forth. So, um, so once you go live, then what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on your live video and then copy the URL for it and then message it to Judy Dollings. <clears throat> and so you have from now until the end of the month. So April 10th, actually, it started till the end of the month. And you just have to go live two times, okay, because you can only get two entries. That's the max you can get. Okay, so... Everyone can do that. I hope everyone on our team just steps up to the plate and pulls up their big girl panties, their big boy panties, and just does it. You know, because 500 bucks, I mean, who, who doesn't want 500 bucks? The easiest chance to win 500 bucks. Okay. <clears throat> and then Sandy's contest, um, hers is an awesome one too. So it started the beginning of the month. So it goes through the whole month of April. And you can win on hers an HP 2019 newest premium pavilion 15.6 inch laptop. So if you need a new laptop, I mean, that is awesome. So to get an entry into Sandy's contest, you need to have 100 PV. So 100 in personal volume, so like a director pack. And then you need to get five new customers or affiliates that um, purchase a director pack. Okay. And then you will get into her contest. Um, so if you need a new laptop, that mm -hmm. awesome contest to get in. Because there's not a lot of people who get into these contests. So if you just like step up your game, you can get a new laptop. And you might get 500 bucks and a new laptop. So there you go. <clears throat> okay. Um, so those are the two contests. So now I'm going to, um, Shelly, I'm going to um, have you talk about your event today. And um, then I'll go over some other stuff after you. Okay. So you've got the floor, okay? Thank you. And actually, I think Claude just came on too. Claude and I um, were at um, a we were at an event called the Latino Conference in Ontario, mm -hmm. and it was one of those events where they had conferences inside the ballroom, but then um, when they came out on break or before the conferences started, there were benches in the area. 
So we were right outside, we, we were located right outside of where they came out of the ballroom. And that worked out really well because they saw our, our table right then and there. So um, I will say, I feel like it went really well. And uh, we utilized two of the techniques that we had been given last week with, um, I, been, I can't remember who said it, uh, might have been you, Karen, I don't know, but the two things that we used when we started, uh, when we talked to the folks was, um, first of all, uh, if they said they were interested in the product, instead of, in addition to giving out a business card, we would also say, well, look, we can give you more information about the company and more information about the products if you just want to leave us your email. And then many of them did, and we just plugged them right into um, Claude's uh, business opportunity page. And we explained to them they'd be getting emails from the company about the products, about the company, and the opportunity. So many of them did that. It was really easy. They, they wanted to see. It. As a matter of fact, it was a great way to open up the idea about it because one of the people was like, you know, I've been wanting to get into this business, so, so why not do that? So that worked out really well. And then um, we also utilized the, uh, when, we talked, when we talked to people about the products, they'd say, you know, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried in other companies. And, um, and I said, that's really great. You know, there are a lot of people out there but we're the one that also has an opportunity. And they looked at me and said, what do you mean? And so that was really so easy to say, and I really encourage you all to use that. Um, you know, we had a lot of people asking questions about it. Um, somebody asked, I've never heard of this before, but one of the people came up and asked about, um, I think they called it Phantom Pain. And Claude, feel free to step on if you remember that name. Phantom pain is when somebody has has had a um, has amputation. Had an amputation, and the the son described it to me as even though he could feel the father could feel um, pain in his leg, and he could feel it like it was coming from the foot, even though he didn't have a foot. It was a I think it was some diabetes or something, but um, and I said let's Google it and see what they have to say. And he goes, yeah, what a great idea. So uh, that was something new that came up. But overall, we had a lot of interest. We had, um, we didn't have people buying anything. You know, we had product to sell, but we thought let's direct them to the website instead. And of everybody that uh, gave us their email, they were really happy about uh, going into the system. And we're really, <laughs> We're going to follow up to see how that works and if we get some activity from that. I called Laura because at the show, there was also another uh, CBD company there. And um, I didn't see what they were doing yesterday. But what I did see today is they were passing out a big list. And we probably had this list too, but it was a big list of all the conditions that CBD can help. But they were using the medical terms. So they were passing that out. Mm. Um, what else did they do? Um, oh, they were telling us that uh, they didn't they didn't care about the FDA. Um, they were very rude. I mean, I'm not trying to badmouth people, but you know, I just held my head high and walked around. I was very polite to them. I'm not going to stoop to that level. But um, Claude, didn't are you there, Claude? You might have to unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I my picture's just not showing up for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Um, but it's not, yeah, there, it was a lot of uh, good stuff. I felt I learned a lot from some of the people that came around. Well, you did, but what was the other company telling you besides the fact? Well, they were saying that they don't believe in FDA. They think they're a farce, and that they just feel as though. Their product coming from Austria is much better than any made anywhere in the U.S. They said, they said it was from Austria? Yeah, Austria. Everything shipped, they said, from Austria. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was, too. Do you all have the name of the company? Yes. She's got it. You don't want to give it? Is it Can okay? Canaway. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, 
Hanaway. Okay. Yeah. And I've run into them before. Yeah. And Claude, you thought their prices were lower than ours, but they're not. Well, it turned out uh, higher, huh? Yeah, they're higher, especially for the oils. They're higher on the oils. But um, overall, I think it was really good. And I do think, I think Claude has the potential to get a couple of business builders, if not more out of it, and some sales. Uh, he's going to follow up with them. That's the key to these events. You have to, you know, get them in the system or at least get their email and follow up with them to see if you can, you know, promote that sale. We did offer to place the orders then and there for, for some people, and you can do that at events, but, um, you know, sometimes they don't always have the time to do it because it does, you know, require them coming up with a username and password. So, plus the internet was a little slow, but uh, good event. We're looking at doing it again. Um, Claude and his wife and sister-in-law know the facilitator of the event and apparently it happens two to three times a year so i think we'll continue to look at doing that it's a good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah awesome yeah event yeah events are a good way to go if um you know if you don't want to just build on social media and you can find them um, like meetup groups too. join networking groups right and you know that's a great way to get people, you know, because if you join a networking group, then you can educate them, you know, on, on the benefits of our product. And then there'll be your sales force as well going out there and telling their friends because they're more educated now, knowing the difference of hemp works compared to ABC CBD oil that's out there on the market. Right. So right. if you have um, time, I would definitely suggest joining some networking groups. Right. Yeah. And they don't have to be the expensive B&I ones. You know, there's, no. there's ones out there that, that are, you know, don't charge a lot. Or start your own. Yeah. Yeah. Shelly started um, networking groups that yeah. Connie and I were in and yeah. other companies. Claude, can you think of anything else that you got from this? Uh, no, I, I think that the thing I was most impressed with is how many people walked by and actually knew what the CBD oils were. And I think that was impressive in my book because I didn't realize everybody out there seems to know about it now. Right. So that was, that was real helpful in my case of knowing that they know more sometimes than we do. And so what that tells us that we need to really be uh, on board with what our, what's in our products, you know, how it works, what our, what, uh, what we're known for, where we find documentation, because we have to come across as being knowledgeable to our clients as well. And that's going to put us above everybody else, you know, above those dispensaries, above those department stores that, got, that are going to start selling, you know, more CBD. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we can just be so confident in our oil because we have the documentation that backs, you know, what we say. And we know that what it, the label says on the bottle is actually what's in the bottle because we have the documentation to prove it. Whereas a lot of these other companies don't. And in fact, <laughs> um, if you make sure you guys that you check Judy's group every day, because when I first joined, um, I didn't really, you know, Sandy was my upline, but she was new, so she didn't really know anything. So I had to self, self teach myself. Um, because I didn't really have anyone to go to. So I went into Judy's group daily, read everything that they were posting. And that's where I learned a ton of stuff. Right. Um, so there are so many affiliates in that group that if you have a question, post it in that group and you'll get you know, answers. Um, but there's a gal um, that posted a, you know, a couple of great posts today. Liz R.E., I think her last name is. Yeah. Um, and... She actually was doing comparisons, like what we talked about last week or the week before, how to compare. Um, and then she also did a post on um, uh, documentation of lab results. You know, just because a company does give lab results doesn't mean that those lab results are good because there were toxins 
um, even though there were, you know, small amounts, there were still toxins, four different toxins that showed up on the lab report of this particular oil, right? So we need to be able to educate people to be able to read these lab reports. So just because a company gives it to you doesn't mean that it's a good lab report. So definitely go into Judy's group and read those posts um, that Liz um, put in there. And just make sure that you go in her group daily because you will learn a lot of stuff in there. Not only does she have a bunch of training in her group, um, but just the questions that people ask. That's how I learned everything that I knew is I just read people's questions that they asked, you know, right. when I first joined in 2017, you know. <clears throat> um, so just, make, you know, this is your own business. So make sure that you go in there and you educate yourself because all the education for you is there. You just need to go out there and do it. Right. Okay. Um, anything else, Shell? Not that I can think of. Um, do you guys have any questions for Shelly or Claude on their events or anything? No? Okay. <laughs> um, so another big thing that I keep seeing is compliance. Um, so compliance is huge, even though that other company didn't seem to care about compliance. Right. <laughs> it was, it was, it was blatant. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a question about compliance. Um, who's, who's the one that we're afraid of <laughs> with compliance? Is it the FDA? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Pam, no. Pam is a good one to speak on this because she has it in her um, normal nine to five um, pan can life. So Pam, why don't you talk to us about compliance? Yeah, so it is the FDA um, because you know, like you hear Jenna say all the time, we are not a medicine, so we cannot say that we heal, cure, remedy, or anything to that effect. We have to stay away from disease names because that could indicate we're making a medical statement and even the word pain could then be construed to be medical and you know the, we have to be so compliant with the FDA uh, like Laura mentioned I work in the field of pancreatic cancer and we are actually doing a huge new like groundbreaking initiative with the FDA and even their own people, when we had them with us in Washington, D.C. last year, the gal got up to speak and she said, wait, I need to check my words really carefully because I have to be very careful of the words that I say. So it's a real big deal and they're on high alert at all times. And I think it's really smart of HempWorks to really, you know, keep reinforcing with all of us that we cannot say those words because if there is ever going to be a time when the FDA is going to step in and say hey we have got to put a stop to this or maybe they do it through the U.S. Hemp Authority you know I don't know how or if it will ever come down but you know we want to be last man standing and the other the other companies just don't seem to get that piece of it they're just looking at this as a a business it's trendy it's hot it's something they can make money at and they're not looking at long-term you know effects so and, and you know that might have been why um, Claude and you might have missed this part Pam but at the event we were at today this other company was talking about how they didn't care about the FDA they they didn't care about the FDA and they had a sheet with all the disease names on it so I think that's what she she was meaning. Uh, my other, my rep Claude was there too, and this is what she's saying that they don't care. Well, you have to care because the FDA could shut these companies down if they don't comply. Correct? Well, yeah, and it's not only that they could potentially shut them down. You know, what if the time comes because FDA is Food and Drug Administration. Right. So we are a food supplement. So what if there comes a time when they decide they are actually going to approve what we do and what we have because it is a food supplement? Well, they're going to look back and want to know that we've been compliant right. all along and that we intend to continue to be compliant when all of these other 
you know, companies are just, they don't know, you know, they can say they don't care, but that's just coming from a place of ignorance. You know, they right. just, they don't know. I agree. Thank you. Right. And, um, and in your back office under the resources tab, um, is compliance. Um, so scroll down, scroll through, we'll read it. And then at the very bottom, there's, um, terms to avoid and what to say instead of. Um, it's not a full list, but it gives you a general idea. Um, so make sure that you read that. And it's definitely helpful. Um, and just describe things, you know, instead of a headache, you know, you could just describe a thumping, pounding in your head that you no longer have. You know, that paints a picture rather right. than a headache. You know, someone uh, asked me today about allergy. Can you say allergy? That's a medical term. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. You could say something like, oh my gosh, this is the time of year when, you know, every time I walk outside, my nose will start itching or my eyes will start watering or, I mean, you describe mm -hmm. Be very what it does to you yeah. without, and people will know what that is. Right. Yeah, I think I've said this before, but it's like I always share with my team, too, that, you know, it's kind of like the difference between seeing the movie and reading the book. Like, you see the movie, and it's like all there, and they use whatever, but when you re read the book, and they have to describe everything to paint the picture, and they go into way more detail than was in the movie, I always say, we are the book. We've got to describe it. We've got to, you know, paint the picture, like Laura said people and Laura you always come up with some really good images that almost like you don't need words yeah. you know like with a pounding head or whatever. So, I, Google images is your yeah, friend. that's what I do okay, you just go Google images and then you put headache because you can't put the medical term there so just put headache and then uh -huh. just scroll through all the images and pick what you want you know it's, it's brilliant so, Dude, um, I'm gonna do that for allergy yeah allergy. <laughs> Skin conditions, I think I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever you need. So Google Images is your friend. Um, <clears throat> and then make sure you're all in the uh, Sandy's Testimonies group, the Compliant Testimonies group. So you can use any testimony in there because she's made them all compliant. Right. So make sure that you do um, post a testimony on your wall every day, you know, as one of your posts, because testimonies is what triggers people to come out of the woodwork. If they see something that's like, oh yeah. So try and do different ones. So you're not doing all the same thing, you know, do a, a pet testimony and then, you know, change it up. Uh, so if you're not in that group, get with your upline and they can add you and or direct you on how to get added into that group. And then just scroll through. There's masses of them in there. Just scroll through and pick what you want. If there's no picture, Google Images, add a picture. <laughs> and, um, or you can, you can even do, you know, several pictures and then use the Mosho, Mosho app, which is a free app, and make a little video out of the pictures, you know, so that. Oh, that's a great idea. Grab yeah. people's attention. Yeah. You want people to stop their scroll when they come to your stuff. Okay. So. Um, Laura, I have a quick update too. You know how we were trying to find out about the bacon flavor in the pet um, oil? Mm -hmm. And so se several of us called customer service mm -hmm. and we got several different answers. Lovely. Um, yeah. So on the, you know, on the bottle, you know, it says natural bacon flavor, which is great if that's what it is. But then when you call, we've gotten everything from, I was told it's an artificial flavoring. Somebody else was told it's a proprietary formula. We can't give that information to you guys. So anyway, so bottom line, we were getting mixed um, responses. So to me, it then became a compliant issue because if it's not what we're saying it is, that's a compliance thing. So anyways, Erin's on it now, and she's um, trying to find out what the answer is. So as soon as I know, I'll share with you guys. You know, I was, I'm wondering if you could go to Jen Canna and ask them. 
I wonder if they would say. Uh, yeah. No, that just popped into my head right now while you were. Yeah, talking. Aaron said, well, I'm trying not to go over people's heads, you know, but mm -hmm. let me see what Aaron comes back with. It was just, it was Monday that I asked her the question. I, I sent it through um, compliance in an email, like she always tells me to, but then I also sent her a message just to let her know it was there. So she confirmed right away that she got it. So today I sent a little reminder, just, you know, any word yet. She said she was going to go to somebody that's in charge of the actual product. So that might be at Jen Kenna. I'm not sure. So let me give her a little bit of time. Okay. And then just share with us. I will. And then one other, somebody else brought up something totally random today that I, I don't know the answer to. I, I told her to, you know, send a question to support at mydailychoice.com. I guess she had somebody question her on why the um, relief and the revive, is it the revive or the? Skincare? Yeah, what's the other skincare? Renew. Renew. Oh, Renew. the one that's the cream, okay. Why they are, on, are in plastic bottles? And is, you know, is there leaching of the BPAs? And I'm like, I don't even know if there's BPAs in them. I have no idea. I would think, I would think it would be BPA free. I would think. Yeah. So I suggested that she just ask customer service and see what kind of response she gets. So just these random things I just thought I would share in case okay. anybody else gets the same question. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, so, and then um, Michelle, oh, Laura, what's the Mosho app? So if you go to your app store um, on your phone, and then um, <laughs> you can download it. And it looks like... You can do it on a tablet too, right? Yeah. So it's M-O capital S-H-O-W. Two words. Is it... Okay. Isn't well, it? I don't know. It's all run together on my phone. Oh. It's that one on Heather's nose. <laughs> on Heather's nose? <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> so it has an M and then like colorful blue things around it. Super easy. Got it. You found it? Okay. Yeah. Is it easier than over? Is it easier than over? Yeah. Okay. And you know another cool one that I found? Um, this Lumiere one, right there. L U M. Um, L U M Y E R. Okay. And then um, it has you can um, like that last one that I did with a cup of coffee, and it had the little smoke coming up. And that was from that app. So it was a still photo, and then you can just add the little smoke coming up from the coffee. It has all sorts of fun. Um, let me see if I can find some. Um, all sorts of fun things you can add. Um, so like, you know, like me standing on the beach right there. Um, and, then, and then I just hit the arrow over here. And then there's all sorts of things that I've downloaded. So that's why I wanted to add a little bird to that picture. So now there's a little bird flying on there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> and, yeah, and then, then I can put another effect. I think I, I think I bought this one. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, and then let's say I wanted a butterfly too. So then I can put a butterfly. And then you can, you can move them around and make them smaller and stuff. But this it's is so a, cool. It's so cool and so easy. And it just makes your, your um, stuff stand out, you know, because <clears throat> it, it, I mean, it's fun little stuff. Uh, I noticed on one of the apps that I don't remember, Laura, if you had told me about it or somebody else did, but um, you can get even more backgrounds and all you have to do is watch like a 60 second little ad. It doesn't cost money or anything. You just kind of pick the other backgrounds that you'd like to have in your portfolio uh -huh. and you just watch a little 60 second or so ad and then you have it, it drops right in. Oh, cool. That's very cool. 
Um, but so this, I'm, I'm sorry, I just put a, um, I just want to show you guys. So I had, I could just added a, a killer whale because I'm on the ocean right now. <laughs> so let me see, well, there's the killer whale <laughs> right there. <laughs> so cool. And so easy. <laughs> yeah, and then your caption could be, stay calm no matter what. Take CBD oil. <laughs> That one is super fun and super easy. That Lumiere one. So you guys definitely do that one. Okay. <laughs> um, and then Michelle had sent me um, a daily checklist that she had made up. Made up. So I'm gonna see if I can share the screen and find it. Well, you're looking for that. What, what, it, was, it was show more, or how, was it what they show? Mo show. Oh, Mo show. M O S H O W. All one word or two words? I think it's all one. Oh, I found it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see this daily checklist? Yeah. Okay. So this is what she sent me. I added a couple <laughs> things. Um, so I'll put it in the. Um, files but if you you know want to keep yourself on check because she has every day of the week here so you just check it off once you've done it so this is for um facebook or if you do yeah. you can do it there too <clears throat> so first one, <laughs> um check out the birthdays and wish everyone a happy birthday so you'll get notified you know when it's everyone's birthday so make sure you wish everyone a happy birthday um because that gets them in your feed. Um, friend at least three to four new people from your mutual friends list. Okay, so you'll have suggested friends. So make sure you're, friend, make sure you're um, friending people every day because you want to grow your network so that you're not just talking to the same people all the time. And that's really working too because I've, I've added about a thousand people in the last couple of months. And I've had a couple people sign up as customers from that. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, now, I, with the amount of posts that she has here, that's a lot of posts. Um, so I personally think like five posts a day is plenty. Um, yeah. That's my personal opinion, scattered throughout the day. Uh, but th this just gives you um, kind of ideas of what to post. So post three to four info pics of CBD without your website and not right after one after the other. So I would just post one a day. I think three to four is too many. I would just post one. Um, post one to two posts after 7 p.m. Uh, with your, if you want to put your website, make sure it's either on the picture or in the comments. Don't post your website in the verbiage of your posts because Facebook won't show that to as many people. Um, post three to five different posts about interests of yours. So anything that interests you, but I would just do one post a day on that. Um, take 30 minutes to comment on other people's posts. That's huge uh, because you want to be going to your friends posts and commenting on them, not just liking it, you want to actually comment on it. That way they um, will see your post and they will, you know, go, oh my goodness, who's Pam? I haven't seen her for a while. And then they may go to your wall and see what you're all about. Right? So. And Laura, wasn't there some kind of thing that I, I don't remember where I heard it, that it has to be like five words or something? Yeah. She, and I don't know if she got this from her webinar that she was on, but this maybe one to two words. But yeah, I mean, I think you would, you want to make it a post that's, you know, has some girth to it, you know, so it's not, so they know that you're really reading their, their thing and you're making a, a nice comment, just not like ditto, you know, not that kind okay. of, thing, you know, um, join groups that interest you. So groups are huge. So, um, find groups, join them and then interact in the group. Nothing about your product, nothing about CBD. Just be in there um, talking, um, adding value to the group, and that'll be 
then people will be um, interested in you and they'll probably go to your wall and see what you're all about and maybe friend request you. Or if there's someone in there that you particularly like and feel like a kinship with them, then you can friend request them. So groups are huge. Um, if you're like a doggy person, uh, find all your doggy groups, um, you know, anything. If you're hiking, fishing, ball, whatever your interests are. Um, do a post that makes people interact with you. And so that would be um, any kind of posts like, um, you know, anything that makes people want to comment. Like if you could pick one food that has no calories, what food would you pick? You know, what would be your one non-caloric food would be a freebie. Um, if you could live any place in the world, um, money is no object, where would you live? Um, you know, I think Pam, you did one on ice cream. Oh, that ice cream one got like over a hundred comments. It's yeah. crazy. I use that one too. I stole it from you. <laughs> I got so many comments on that. Yeah, that was a good one. That's yeah. Amazing. And I stole that from somebody else. So you know. <laughs> so um, and I think if you if it's something that is like super duper popular from, from other people's posts. When you post the picture, do some sort of effect on it. So it's not the exact same picture. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, because then it'll show up more. If Facebook sees the same picture over and over and over again, it's not gonna show it to as many people. So, um, so we go to that app and we get a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just when you're posting it, you know, you can click effects, you know, on Facebook. And mm -hmm. either put the sparkles around it or... Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, that's how I have, like, the sparkles around, like, the pictures. Like, oh, my God. See, I'm so lame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just... Yeah, it says edit, I think. When you're... Oh, okay. Edit it. And you can, um, you can add text to it. You can um, put an emoji on it, you know, from your emoji screen. So, yeah. So... So if you add something like that, and especially if you add it, um, one of Facebook's own thing, um, Facebook likes that. And so they'll show it to more people. Oh, that's good to know. Um, <clears throat> okay, host a watch party. So we talked about that the other week. Those are super easy to do. Um, just, uh, and it could be on anything too. It doesn't have to be on CBD. If you, because uh, what I'm thinking, too, is that um, if you have a variety of watch parties, so it's not always on CBD, then your friends will maybe start watching it more. Because if it's only CBD watch parties that you do, then they'll start thinking, oh, it's just going to be about CBD. I'm not going to watch it, right? But if it's um, maybe something about makeup that you want or something about cooking, you know, some sort of recipe or you know, some sort of info thing. Do a watch party on that, so it's not always CBD. That's just my own thought process. What do you guys think? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then the lives. <laughs> Weekly do one to two lives. About your story, about one of the products. Do it by yourself or do it with one of us. With me, with Pam, whoever. Um, I'll be happy to do lives with you. It makes it so much easier than doing it by yourself. Because <laughs> you have someone to chit chat with. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it can be alive about anything, too, you know? Um, and it could be about, you know, live about some interesting thing that happened to you that somebody, you know, that people don't even know about, you know? You know something that might interest people. So it's not, so that people will watch you. So that they don't always think that you're trying to sell them something or that you're always talking CBD, right? You wanna, you know, make your make yourself interesting, make yourself a real person, but definitely do also do C B D stuff. So um you guys have any other comments on those or any other ones that you want but I definitely think that five posts a day are enough. I wouldn't do more than five posts a day. Right. Don't you guys think that it, if you right. see somebody posting over and over again, it gets a bit monotonous. Yeah. And I think it's hard to do. Yeah. We run out of stuff. Right? 
in my life anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Pose, pose first, first thing in the morning, it's an inspirational pose um, or a funny pose to bright, brighten everyone's day you know, before they set off to work. Um, post at noon um, when everyone's going to be on lunch. That's when people get on their Facebook at lunch hour. Um, post in the evening and then post before bedtime. There you go. And then, then it's not too, too much. And then you're hitting different times that maybe different people are on Facebook. Right. Are you going to put this on, on in the group? Yeah. Are you gonna, okay. Yeah. yeah. I will. Uh, so <laughs> it'll probably be in the files, but I'll, I'll post that in there. Okay. Um, anyone else? Let me see, stop the share. Can we ask Karen Files how she, how she did with her events? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You sure can. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I have a great story. <laughs> Love it. Nice. Um, so I was at an event last month with another lady that was doing CBD. <clears throat> and we were set up right across from each other. So I went to the person that was running it. It was a big event. It was a two-day big event. And so I went to the person that was running it, and I said, you know, could you give me a different spot? Because I'm sure she appreciate, she would appreciate it, too, that we're not right across from each other, you know, selling the same thing. He goes, oh, yeah, no problem. So he put me down a little farther, and she kept coming by my table. <laughs> Like, you know, she came, she didn't, I don't think she knew, I knew who she was. And she came and she picked up my bottle and asked me how much it was. And I, I said, it's, you know, they run $69.99. And she threw it down on my table and went, Ugh, and walked away. <laughs> I'm just thinking, okay, lady. <laughs> so the next day, so I'm, t I'm doing a giveaway and I'm getting um, cards, you know, people are signing the cards and throwing them in the basket. And, um. I see, I, I was taught, I had my back turned and I was talking to a, the lady um, next to me and then I see her, see her out of the corner of my eye and she's looking in my basket at my leads and I'm like, oh man, this lady, you know. So, so fast forward to last weekend, last Sunday, I go into this event, guess who I'm right next to? The same lady. No <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> And they put us right next to each other. We're on a corner. So she's on one side of the corner. I'm on the other side. So our, our back, we're back to back, right? Almost. But I'll tell you what. I loved it because they hit her first. And she had other things. She had nu nutritional supplements and everything. So they hit her first and then they came around the corner to me. I, I can't tell you how many people said, so tell me, what makes yours different from hers? And I'm like, I'm so glad. <laughs> that you asked that question. You don't know how glad I am that you asked that question. And I gave them six things, <laughs> six things. Number one, 60 day money back guarantee. Number two, third party testing on our website. Number three, the hemp authority certificate. Number four, we have an opportunity attached to ours. <laughs> Number five, um, did she tell you, I didn't say did she, do they tell you uh, how to start? Did they tell you how to start and how to use the oil? Number five, what? No, that was five. Number six, where is that grown? Because ours is grown in Kentucky. So those are the things I said. Of course, I elaborated on them a little more, but that was my list. And I think I'm doing a live on this because I got my list to start. But, um, and they all, they all were so impressed that I, you know, mentioned all those things because obviously she wasn't telling them much of anything except this is really good. So I don't know. I felt pretty good about it. <laughs> I felt really good about it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that was my experience. Yeah. Did you get money leads? And uh, I did get leads. Um, I saw, uh, I took uh, five, four orders, I think, online because I had my computer there. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple dog um, oils that I sold. Um, good. And I sold three um, sample packs. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I did pretty good. I thought it was a pretty good event. Good. 
Canton. That's awesome. I actually like events. I, I, I have more success speaking to people one-on-one -on -one personally than I have on social media. I, I, that's just me. I just have had more success that way. Yeah. Everyone has their, their, their niche, you know, <clears throat> so, and if you can do a, a mixture, then even better. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I did, um, from the training that we had at a Barb Miller's uh, event a couple weeks ago, weekends ago, I did start looking into senior citizen centers. I just started Googling them in, in my area and seeing when, because a lot of them do health events. I'm finding out they, they, of course, a lot of them did them in the beginning of the year, you know, January, you're thinking about getting healthy, but there are some scheduled throughout the year. So I just think that's a, that's a good venue. Senior citizens centers, mm -hmm. health events. Yeah. And if gyms let you go in too, gyms would be mm -hmm. a good place too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, so Laura asked about how you find watch parties. So <clears throat> Laura, if you go to like Candace Bird Davis is a, a lot of people use because she's so dynamic. But if you go to her wall um, and then you find a video, if you click on it, then at the underneath it, it'll say start a watch party. And if you click that, then that becomes your watch party. Yeah, Erin Parker does a lot of good, um, really yeah. old so you want videos to too. Like, like that. Yeah. Erin Parker's dynamic too. Yeah. Yeah, so just I think you can the leaderboard too, you know, in your back office and um, start you know, going through those people who are, are always on the leaderboard and then go to their wall and see if they're doing anything. And if you like any of those, then you them with watch parties. Um, then you can scroll through them, their posts too. And if you see anything of their posts that you like, you can um, recreate them, make them your own. Yeah. And the thing with the watch party too, um, it's, that pertains to any video that you see on Facebook. Right. If you go, if you click share on any video on any subject, it'll say start a watch party. So how do you, so when you do a watch party, how do you, how do you know? I mean, I, I did one the other night and I saw people had joined, joined, joined. How do you, like when they ended, I can't find the people. How do you find because they didn't stay on. <laughs> you can tell down at the bottom, it'll show you little circles with, and if you hover over the circles, like it starts at the bottom left side of your screen, or at least on mine it does. And if you hover over those circles, you can, it'll say their name. Okay. But a lot of the people will join just to see what it is really quick. Um, and then they jump off. But you can tell by, like I did one last night and people, some people stayed on for, you know, 10 minutes or something and then like their little circle would disappear so but the, the circles are there after the video ends is what no. I'm saying. um no you kind of have to take notes during okay. the video on who's on for more okay. than a couple minutes i saw circles i just didn't know what they were <laughs> yeah they're people's face it'll be okay. their profile picture <laughs> but if you hover over it it'll tell you their name okay thank you yeah, I think on your phone it even says such and such joined. Yeah, it'll show all the join on the right side. It'll show on the computer screen. It'll show all the people that joined, but that just means they popped in for a second. Right. To see what's up. But, you know, Michelle jots all of those down too, I think, and she circles back with them and say, hey, I, I see you popped into my, you know, watch party last night. You know, and then she starts a conversation with them. She's really good about that. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a different way to get leads, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think they're really big right now. And I think stories are really big right now, from what I'm hearing. So, <clears throat> so um, make use of those. Yeah. Um, I, that's all I have, if, unless anyone else has questions or anything. But we're almost at seven o'clock. So that was, that was a good meeting, especially yeah, since we kind of got, you know, 
We just winged it. I think we winged it pretty good. <laughs> I like just the interaction that we can talk to each other. and yeah. It's like having coffee with our friends. Maybe, maybe one night we'll have wine and everyone will just cheers with our wine as we chit chat. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> I'm going to vote for that. I might <laughs> myself for that one. Maybe next week we'll have a wine and chat. <laughs> maybe we'll get more people to join us. So there you go. <laughs> how many of us are there? I'm going to have a wine and watch party next week and Thursday here and I'll have my two friends with our wine and we'll watch. Awesome. Cool. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Hey, Laura Alton, are you going to try to get down to Houston for their um, event in another week or so? I'm going to try. I have <clears throat> a golf tournament on Friday here in Dallas, um, and we have Easter on Sunday. So if I can scoot down on Friday night and come back on Saturday night or Sunday morning, maybe so, because I'd love to go see my brother and then yeah. make it. So. Yeah, because yeah. like I was telling them, I'm five minutes from the one in Dallas, and I'm going to miss it. Oh, I know. It's such a bummer. And it's so worth it if you could make it down to Houston. You could, you know, see your brother do the whole thing. Let us know. I know. I'm going to try to do that. So, okay. yeah. And take your business cards to your golf tournament. You just never know who you're going to bump into. That would mean I would need to make them between now and then. <laughs> you could do that. Yeah. The Vista print, they're really fast. Yeah, so I need to get those. I have so much to do, y'all. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I sit here and I'm like, oh my God, I've got to do that. And, oh my God, I got to do that too. You need to make a checklist. I do. And just yeah. check it off. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the recording and then if we want to chit chat, we can.